All right, so you log in into your Pearson. And then we go to our class. Course materials. We're going, to, this week is week six. Assignment folders. As you see, I got 95.8. We're going to try to get better grade or same grade. You're going to download all your materials. You're going to minimize and you're going to open up the works, your Excel worksheet. You're going to enable editing. Let's make this bigger. Okay, so step one was obviously opening up your student Excel worksheet. Um, we're going to change the theme, the workbook to theme to WISP. To do that, we're going to page layout. On the page layout, it's on the tab. We're going to themes, under themes, and we're going to look for WISP. As you notice, when I when I hover around each individual WIS or uh, theme, it changes style. WIS is right here. You're going to click on that. If you don't have WISP, that means you have an older version of Excel and you have to download that specific theme. I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to download themes. You are going to have to go on YouTube and search that up. Um, I'm assuming once we download the Wisp on the on the folder that helps out on, on back here. I'm gonna show you where when you go to download materials, see you have the Wisp right here, Theme Max. I'm assuming that already adds it into your computer, but I I, I highly doubt it. I think you have to add it into the actual theme folder, but. Yeah, you're going to have to YouTube that. I don't have time for that. Sorry. So in cell B, okay, now a little lesson about Excel. These are columns. So column A, column B, column C, these are rows. Row A, row 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and these are cells. So when I say B3, cell B3, that means I want this cell, C4, D4, etc. So for step 3, it says on cell B3, um, B3, use the fill handle to fill the months May and June in range of C3 and D3. So we have to have May and June. You don't type it in. Do not type in May or June. You're going to have to use a fill handle. The fill handle is on bottom right. You're going to click it and just going to drag it all to D3 and it automatically fill those two months. Once you do that, you are done with step three. Step four, we're going to merge and center the title across range A1 and F1. In order for us to highlight, we're going to go to A1. We're going to, we're going to go to cell A1. We're going to click it, and we're just going to go all the way to F1, cell F1. Once we do that, on the tabs, we're going to go to the Home tab. The Home tab, we're going to merge and center on the alignment. So we're going to merge and center here. You know, it's going to merge it and and it's going to merge all those all those cells into one cell and we are go and it's also going to center it for you that's not the only step in part in step four step there's a lot of parts in step four that's part 1a part 1b you're going to apply the title set style the styles is in their home tab you're on the home tab under styles you're not going to see, usually, usually pops up here. I don't know why mine doesn't, but in, if it doesn't, you go to the, scroll down here where it says more. You're going to click there. You're going to look for title under title and headings. See, once you press it, it changed the, it changed the, the color and the size of your title. That's the, that's the end part of part one. Now the part of step four, part one, step four, part two, 
we're going to merge and center the subtitle across the range A2 to F2. So we're going to go to cell A2, and we're going to highlight all the way to F2, and we're going to do the same thing under Home tab. We're going to merge and center. We're going to click that. We're not so not done. We still have one more. We have two more. We're gonna have to two a two b. We're going to we're gonna apply headings one, the the style heading one. So we're gonna if you don't see it here, you're gonna go to headings. You go to heading one. You know this is heading one because you, once you hover over it, it will the name will pop up heading one. So you're gonna do that. You're gonna press heading one, and you're set. For heading one, still not done with step four. Step four, you have to center the column titles. The column titles are the months, or uh, was it was just row three. So you're gonna highlight all that, and you're gonna center, not merge and center, center. Right there, center on the same place alignment, but you're gonna just center, and just send. Now we're done with step number four. Step number five, we're going to widen the columns A to 180 pixels and widen columns B to 115 pixels. Okay, for me, this, is not, this, this, this does not work. What I did is I'm just, it says no. If any columns are too narrow to display all data, apply auto fit to the column. That's what we're going to do because unfortunately, if we do to 180, I'll show you, it's not going to work. Go to 180. So tedious. All right, I was just gonna do it like that. See how it cuts off the the gym and the trainer and all that. Didn't work. I'm gonna do Control Z to undo that, or you're gonna press this button. And we're just gonna go to Home under Cells over here. You're gonna go to Format. Oh, sorry. You're sorry for that. The first part is Column A. Column A is over here. You're gonna go to Home. We're gonna Format. And you're going to go auto fit column width and see how it does it automatically for you. You're going to do the same thing for all B, C, D, E, F. You're going to do the same. You're going to highlight B, C, D, E, F, and you're just going to format auto fit column width. So it switched everything around. Now, for, so we're still in step five. Step five, we're going to go to June. We're going to go to, um, we're going to go to B7, cell B7, and we're going to input the information that's highlighted in blue in your instructions. B7, we start with 1377.27.85. Then we're going to go to, the next one, we're going to hit tab to go to the next cell. 121-691.64. We're going to hit tab again to go to the next cell. 128-964.64. Okay, we're done. For Mac users, um, it says widen column to 21.83 or columns B through F through 13.83, you're going to have to do that or do the auto fit like I just did. For six, hold on. <laughs> 